Hey guys, I'm checking out uh, the savannas of Africa and there's an elephant coming at me right now. <laughs> Whoa, Jack. Um, on this VR device here. I picked this up from Walmart today for nine bucks. The Dream Vision Pro. Marked down from 30 bucks. They're, they're on clearance for the next generation of this stuff. Um, came with a Bluetooth joystick game controller which works really great with the integrated earbuds there uh, through the phone, which is locked in right here. And there is an action button right there that comes in useful sometimes, as well as volume rockers here, which work when you're on Bluetooth. But I'm not on Bluetooth right now. The headset sits very well. It's padded very well. I have the lights on. In the room right now for the video but generally you want to turn off the lights for the best viewing experience I've had the best success checking out um, downloading the Google Cardboard app for this device I didn't need a QC code as I was reading about like people were freaking out about not having the QC code of course, Samsung wants you to, or whoever, uh, Dream Vision Pro wants you to download all these, you know, shooter kind of apps. But I'm not into that. I'm watching stuff from the African Savanna um, waterfalls in South America. It's really cool, guys, because not only is it, hang on. Again, there's like animals all over the place here in this one. What's really cool is on the Google Cardboard app, the demo is really cool. It's an animation of the Arctic. And what I'm watching right now um, is next to that are uh, VR recommended VR videos. So Google Cardboard app from the Play Store, um, it's just running by default on the, on the phone. It did, it did detect it, apparently. I want to see what's going on here. So there's some kind of animals who are coming up here. So you've got to move around 360. If you guys haven't done VR before, that's the way it is. I mean, now you can watch a lot of the VR video or uh, 360 videos on YouTube. And there, if you've got a trackpad on your screen or with your mouse, you can go 360. But this way is a lot more tactile because you actually physically turn around and see your environment moving before you like right now these guys are in canoes and we're and we're going down this uh, there's lily pads and this river and you know it's just uh it's pretty cool a downside of this um device right here guys for nine bucks again on clearance for 30 bucks list i would not spend 30 bucks on it and i'll tell you why the resolution and the clarity of the picture is not good it's actually pretty blurry. So you're getting a feeling of VR, but you're not getting the, um, it's like for somebody who's um, nearsighted, like I am, not wearing your glasses and walking around downtown, everything is gonna be blurry. Well, that's what it's like in this. So it gives you a great feeling about VR. And some of those, um, videos I was checking out on the Google Cardboard app in South America about the waterfalls. What's really cool is they bring you above the clouds, above the waterfall, and if you look down wearing the device, you are actually over the cliff, over the waterfall, looking down into it. I mean, it's, it's just an incredible feeling, and there's a few videos like that that really take advantage of that... Uh, Vertical. Oh my god. I mean, here's a lion like looking right at me. I mean, this is this is really cool Obviously, they, these people have a camera mounted somewhere on the savannah and lions are coming right up and sniffing at the camera And it looks like the lion is coming right at my face it, it, Although I'll be a, a blurry lion It's a National Geographic actually Remember to peel away um, There's a couple uh, plastic pieces that you peel off each lens, be sure to do that. I didn't do that at first and everything was really foggy until I peeled that away. You gotta press the VR screen 
and then watch in VR and you can see how it splits down the screen right down the middle. Well that coincides with that white line down the middle of the VR device. If you have a better recommendation for higher crisper resolution, that is my only criticism of this device is that the resolution is not good. Remember about 10 years ago what YouTube videos were like when we used to look at videos in a 600, what was it, like 480 by 600 resolution? Well, that's what it's like looking at this except 360 and um, up and down as well. Please post your comments below as well as some of your favorite VR video and Android uh, app narrating this video right here, guys. It was like a lion was like right above my head here, as well as an elephant. And I just got this thing this afternoon. So I imagine I'm going to be getting into a lot more of this stuff. And I was really looking forward to just doing a quick video for you guys about my first impressions. It took about an hour and 20 minutes for this thing to charge via the micro USB port right there. And thanks for watching.